I get asked this one question all the time, and I never answer it, but I figure that today I'm going to take the time and answer it. So what is the question? The question is, how did you become Muslim and why? First off, I want to say, I wish I have a very special story to tell you. I wish I could, you know, make you feel something amazing. But the fact is, my story is very simple. I came to Islam at the age of 10. It was October 15, 2004 that I took my Shahada. And that was it. You know, I learned about Islam through people. I'm not going to give their names and their stories or tell too much about them because everybody has a right to their private life. And so I'm just going to say that I had learned about Islam from some adults at the time who were around me and who were learning about Islam, coming in contact with people. And so that is how I got to learn about Muslims, I got to learn about Islam, and I made friends. And so that's how it happened for me. Why did I become a Muslim? All I remember is having nothing up to that point. You know, I really didn't have a religion at all. I grew up without one. I grew up without pretty much anything, and it felt like I was asleep for the first 10 years of my life. With Islam, I don't know, I started questioning, I started thinking about things, you know, that people at that age really usually don't think about. They're more concerned with MTV and Lady Gaga or, you know, whatever. They're concerned about pop culture and their peers, but for me, it's like my eyes started opening and I started to wake up and I started to see Islam and I got to see that people can be good. You know, up to that point in my life, I had only known family and friends and people to be something bad who didn't care about me, who didn't care about anything, who didn't care about the world. You know, they didn't care about having virtues. They didn't think modesty was important. They didn't think that being a good person was okay. You know, I grew up in a place where if people could do wrong, they would do wrong. Islam taught me, I'm sorry, I'm just getting a little emotional. Islam taught me that people could be good. And, um, sorry. Islam showed me that I could be good too. And that holding out for good things in your life and saying no to these bad choices or these bad opportunities is worth it. That it's important to do that. And so that's why I love to be a Muslim. And that's why I chose Islam. My Shahada was a very simple thing. It was with a few people in a room, and that was it. There was no party, there was no celebration, there was no gifts, that kind of a thing. Which, alhamdulillah, I'm so thankful for that. Because it meant something to me that I came to Islam in such a clean, sincere way. That it wasn't full of all that attention. And, um, so that's pretty much my story, you know. I have, well, I've been a Muslim for quite a time now. I'm currently at the making of this video. I am turning 18 at the end of this month. So as of, what is today? October 12th, 2011, I am 17 years old. I will turn 18 at the end of the month. Alhamdulillah, that's good. That's very, very good. And um, so that's my story. But the second part of my story is something that I want to share with you. I'm sorry, I'm starting to shiver. It's really cold out here. And that is, a lot of people are probably on this video searching for something that you might not be able to find. A lot of people ask me for my story, and I know it's because they need some reassurance, you know, about why they're Muslim. They need some inspiration, you know? And if you're looking for that through videos online of other people coming to Islam, that's not something that I think you should do. 
because I will honestly say, for as many people I have seen come to Islam, I have also seen leave. I'm sorry, I'm shivering. It's very cold. So I have seen a lot of people come to Islam and a lot of people leave. And, um, I don't think that a conversion story is important. Like I said, my story was pretty simple. There was nothing, no fancy things about it. You know, I learned about Islam, I loved it. That's it. And, um, yeah, that's really all I have to tell you. Just, it's more important, not somebody's story of how they come to Islam. It's more important about why they stayed. Because it takes a lot more courage and a lot more strength to stay a Muslim than to become a Muslim. And so that's how I'm going to leave this video. Feel free to comment or just tell me your ideas and thoughts about my story. And if you have any questions for me, you want me to talk about something, maybe I could share some of the challenges that I have faced with being a Muslim so young or coming to Islam at a younger age and how you know, family reacts and that kind of a thing. So, maybe I'll do another video, maybe not. So, then I'll make